Okay, guys, tonight we have a little football and a little baseball on tap. First up tonight will be a 2017 Leaf autographed football jersey. That will be the first thing we break. And the second thing we break will be some 2013 Panini Playbook football. And then the third and final thing we break tonight is a full case of um, Topps Clearly Authentic Baseball, which is a 20 box case, and it's a lot of fun to break. So uh, that's a pretty cool one. So that's the order we're going to go in tonight. Let's put up the spreadsheet and take a look at who is in the first break. And this is one box of 2017 Leaf Autograph Football Jersey. This is the 12th time we have broken that particular product. So that's why it says break number 12. Our eBay end date is, uh, of course, tonight, the 21st. Eclipse day, as it was earlier today. And our live stream schedule. Uh-oh, it's supposed to be 10.15 according to that. And I've just logged on at 10. Uh-oh. <laughs> that would be my fault. Because I just am so used to 10 o'clock and it's supposed to be 10.15. So, well, guys, I tell you what. I guess uh, I'm going to have a lot of people coming on at 10.15. So, I guess what I better do is just... Uh, leave us on that screen for a few more minutes and then we'll actually start the break in yeah a couple minutes well in like 12 minutes <laughs> i can't believe i did that i'm always i'm just so used to it being 10 o'clock and yeah it's 10 15 they all say 10 15 so i guess that's how i have it set up tonight for some reason or another Okay, guys, well, uh, I'm going to leave you then with that screen, and uh, I will be back with you momentarily, I suppose, because I don't want people to log in at 10.15 and, and then have their break be over, so I will be back. Okay, let's try this again. Now it is actually 10.15. That's the first time I've ever done that. That's crazy. I signed on originally at 10 and then realized when I pulled up the spreadsheet that we weren't supposed to start until 10.15. So uh, I wandered off for a few minutes so that you guys wouldn't miss your break. I didn't want to start early. So let's go back to where we were a minute ago or 10 minutes ago, more to the point. We have one box of 2017 Leaf autographed football jersey. This is break number 12, meaning it is the uh, 12th time that we have broken this particular product. And of course, our eBay end date is today. And this time I got it right. Our live stream schedule is at 10:15 Eastern, which is right now. Team names are on the left, winning bidders across from it on the right hand side. And I will put one of these up before each break to give you a chance to review which teams you have. And of course, you know, we're just kind of scrolling down through here to give everybody a minute. I did announce earlier, but I doubt you guys heard it because I started early. Um, the order tonight is our uh, jersey followed by some 2013 playbook football, which will be followed by the full case of 2017 Top Authentic Baseball. So that's the deal with that. Oh, I see. I've got a bunch of uh, messages that came up in chat while I was uh, while I was in the other room waiting for us to hit uh, 
waiting for us to hit 10.15. Um, on Clearly Authentic, I don't think I had any unsold teams left uh, to answer your question. I think everything in there was sold. Everything may not necessarily be paid. I actually stopped marking the unpaid stuff on the spreadsheets, but you guys know if you still owe it, you've got to pay it before you get your uh, before you get your item. So I just decided to give it a whirl without marking it on the spreadsheet and see how that would go for us. I don't know this player. This is Roger. I'm going to go with Worley. You can see it printed on the thing here. A uh, Hall of Fame, it says. I don't know this particular player, so um, let's just see. Let's just see if there is a team on the jersey. I always hate taking them out of here because once you unfold them, you never, ever get them folded back, right? And most of the time, it's, yeah, this is a custom anyway, so there's no no team name on it. So I guess we'll be going off to Google to figure that out. Let me get our little Leaf COA back in there. All right. So bear with me a minute while I uh, go to NFL.com here and put this guy in and figure out who he goes to. Because we have a couple of teams with a red and white color scheme for their jerseys that could be possibilities. So we got to find the right one. I need to flip that over so I can spell his name. That would be a good idea. All right, bear with me. I am in NFL.com, and it's, of course, trying to correct my spelling uh, because it's the iPad, and that's what it likes to do. So it brings up Roger Wheeling, which is, of course, not at all who we wanted. <laughs> Sometimes the iPad is just enough to put you over the edge, isn't it? So let's try this one more time, perhaps without the iPad deciding to interfere and see if I can get it to come up this time. And if you guys are typing away in chat telling me who this is, I can't see it at the moment, unfortunately, since I'm on uh, NFL.com trying to find this player, which is not going well. Okay, there we go. His entire career was with the Cardinals. So there we go. Question answered. So this is an Arizona Cardinals uh, hit for the 2017 Leaf autographed jersey. Oh, the tag has his the tag has his name spelled wrong. Oh, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> that is crazy. It, I didn't even notice that until I compared it to the name on the back of the jersey. That was a good catch, man. That's impressive. I didn't even notice the discrepancy. But yeah, it is cardinal, so at least we got that much figured out. All right, guys, next up is one box of 2013 Panini Playbook Football. This is break number 10. And we did have a couple of unsold teams in here. They are designated as no bids buyback. So if anything comes out for one of those orphan teams, those cards would just hang out here with me and join the gigantic pile of cards that uh, comprises Card Mountain, which is getting out of hand. I know I've got to get it sorted and put away, and I just don't ever seem to get it done. All right, now we busted out of autofocus, and that should make life a little easier. And let's see what we've got in Playbook. We pull, I'm trying to think what we pulled out of... Uh, what did we pull out of the last Playbook? I know we pulled a Cam Newton rookie out of the 2011 playbook, but I can't remember what we pulled out of the last 2013 playbook. But I want to say that it was something good, because we've had a pretty good little run with playbook uh, recently of various years. All right, first up, a little Matt Barkley Mammoth Materials for the Eagles. Is that one numbered? Yeah. Oh, it's numbered to 99. I almost missed it. 94 of 99 on the Matt Barkley. A 
That rolls us up to Derek Rogers to 199 for the Buffalo Bills. We should have two booklets in here. One will be an autograph. One will be um, autograph and I mean, one will be memorabilia and one will be autograph and memorabilia. I'll get it spit out in a minute. Looks like we've got a little Jordan Reed for the Redskins kicking it off. And that is a nice uh, three-color patch over on the right. Of course, just a single-color patch on the left. You've got sort of the on-card auto. Basically, I think he signed a clear piece of something that was inserted into the card. But nonetheless, it's not a sticker auto. That is numbered 249 for the skins. And that's followed by a little Giovanni Bernard for the Bengals. Hey, we got two with autographs. Usually one doesn't have one. Or maybe I'm thinking of... A different year of playbook. I sometimes get my playbook years confused. <laughs> that is number two, 271. And again, you've got three colors. That's a pretty nice piece of patch over there. And we may as well just keep this one in my hand since we're going to recap. This is a quick recap. Giovanni Bernard to 271 for the Bengals. With Jordan Reed for the Redskins to 49. Light, nice low number on the Jordan Reed. Then the Derrick Rogers to 199 for the Bills. And a little Matt Barkley for the Eagles, numbered to 99. So that is 13 Playbook. Um, on Playbook and the Jersey, um, those are both, of course, free shipping. So I've, uh, most of the free shipping stuff will go out after uh, roughly five days or so. Um, kind of... Um, letting some of that accumulate a little bit so that I'm not sending the same person, you know, five packages in one week. So those are going to go out about once every five or six days. Um, the stuff like we're getting ready to break, like this Clearly Authentic that has paid shipping, uh, that will go out most likely on Friday. Uh, it's possible it could get out Thursday, but it's probably Friday. And that brings us to 20 boxes of 2017 Tops Clearly Authentic Baseball. This is full case break number two. You will see there are a few teams on here that are marked as no hits in the product. So obviously we don't want to put those up for bidding categories because there's no hits to be had for them. And that is, of course, the Diamondbacks, the Rays, the Rangers, and um, the Jays. Everybody else, though... You got a good shot at getting something out of here. And let's hope we have a little more diversity than what we had in case number one. Because holy mackerel, guys. I mean, what, what, what was that? Like seven? It was either six or seven for the Cardinals out of a 20-box case. Like it was insanity, the number that came out for the Cardinals. Which, of course, obviously St. Louis uh, was very happy, but the other teams were feeling a little neglected in that one. So we're going to see if we can hopefully have a, a little more love to spread around this time. Not all coming out for one single team. And I do have... Um, we've, got quite a, we've got quite a lot of Clearly Authentic, so we'll be breaking this for a while. I think I've got another break Wednesday night. Uh, one should have gone up tonight for Saturday night. And Sunday we'll probably switch back to either Chrome or um, Immaculate Baseball. And then we'll switch back on to Clearly Authentic again after that. That's kind of what I'm thinking. And I'm guessing that you guys know um, that this is one card in each of these boxes. It's one encased card. And there will be two case hits in here. And those will be reprinted cards. The autographs, of course, are not reprinted. But the cards uh, themselves will be reprints of um, Hall of Famers, retired players, veteran players, whatever you want to call them. And they'll also be, of course, on card autos. So we'll be looking for two case hits and then our regular hits. First up, Mr. Kyle Seeger, 250 for the Mariners. So at least it wasn't a Cardinal first up, right? <laughs> so there we go. Somebody was in seven cases of Orioles. 
Oh, and then Manny Machado hit in the one case you didn't buy in. Oh, man. <laughs> that is tough. That's a tough one when that happens. That is always the way, isn't it, though, right? And it's always when you're watching and you see it hit and you're like, oh, God, why didn't I buy into that last one? It's happened to me, too. A little Noah Syndergaard to 99 for the Mets is next out. And that is followed up by a little Roman Quinn for the Phillies. It doesn't look like Roman is numbered. There's been a lot. I've already cut that one, haven't I? There's been a lot of uh, Roman Quinn this week, hasn't there? It just seems like Roman Quinn I've been pulling out of everything this week. We have a redemption. And it's still in case, isn't that funny? Well, I mean, I guess they would have to, but it's just funny to see a redemption encased. So, yeah, a little Tony Rizzo coming out for the Cubbies. So, you get a, a redemption and a bonus one-touch case to go with it. So, more bang for the buck. <laughs> And already we're seeing more diversity than we saw in case number one because it was literally every card coming out was a cardinal. <laughs> so this is already on the right track. There's Hernandez for the Astros next up. And right as I talk about diversity, we're going to follow that up with another Hernandez for the Astros. This one is numbered to 25, though. Um, let me see if I put, I think this might work. Let's see if I can put that. Sometimes holding a white piece of paper behind these uh, clear acetate cards helps a little, although I don't think it helps much in this case. I was trying to get it where you could see the number a little more clearly, but I don't think that helped a lot. But it's 5 of 25 on Hernandez on the second Hernandez for the Astros. And you know what? That's because um, that's because Logic Boy has the Astros and he always does really well. Every time he has the Astros, the Astros hit like crazy. There's a Cardinal. I knew we wouldn't get through without finding at least one. And there he is. There's Randall. Uh, I never say his name right, so we're just going to go with Randall for the Cardinals. Which brings us up to a Detroit Tiger, a little Michael Fulmer for the Tigers, also numbered to 25. This one is number 20 of 25, if I can ever get it. There you go. That angle, I think you can see the number on it. The overhead lighting is a killer in here, trying to see cards that are like... In case like that, the light just wants to bounce right off of those one touch. For the Phillies, a little Jake Thompson. And at least so far, most of these seem to be in the case pretty well. I noticed when I was uh, preparing some for shipment today that some of the first case we opened... The cards were kind of crooked inside the one touch but of course i wasn't about to open it up you know it's got the top seal on it so i'm not messing with it but yeah they had them in there crooked matt olson to 99 for the oakland a's here's our oh this is a good one too oh this is a nice one Look at that little reprint card. A little reprint Buster Posey rookie numbered to 45 for the Giants. That is a sweet, sweet little hit, guys. That's a nice one. Reprint uh, Posey rookie on card auto to 45. And the Giants are now officially happy. And here's another Cardinal. This one is Luke Weaver to 99. But right now, nobody's ahead of Buster Posey, in my mind anyway. We'll see what else comes out of here. But 
Uh, we pulled another nice Buster Posey. Wasn't it out of Authentic? I think it was. And we pulled a Buster Posey out of Chrome. This is like the third or fourth Buster Posey I've pulled in the last uh, seven or ten days anyway. But I think I pulled another one out of the first case of Authentic. But that one I love. That case hit the rookie reprint is just sweet. Here's Hunter Dozier out for the Royals. Yeah, chrome now and then on that Buster Posey. That was a sweet little hit. Was it was indeed. Second hit for the Cubbies with Javier Baez to go along with your Anthony Rizzo redemption. Second, Matt Olson coming out for the A's. So you're kind of broken out in Matt Olson if you've got Oakland. Dodgers are on the board with Jose de Leon. I don't know why I just showed you the back of that one. I didn't show you the back of the other ones. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you just get in the habit of kind of flipping them over. And I think that's just kind of what happened right there. Bobby Jones, you have three Seegers now. One regular, one, 19, one to 99, and one to 50. Well... You know, you're close to uh, you're close to hitting the cycle then, right? <laughs> we just need to pull you a couple more. We need to pull you one of one. Another hit coming out for the Astros, and it's Hernandez again. So they still, I have to say, did not do a stellar job sorting these because this is the third Hernandez in one case. This one is numbered 250. But it is still yet a better job than they did in case one. Our second case hit is Wade Boggs for the Red Sox. That is to 135. We pulled him as one of our case hits out of the first case as well, if I'm remembering correctly. And so tonight it's the Astros and not the Cardinals. Here's another one with Alex Bregman coming out for Houston. I told you guys, Logic Boy is lucky when he buys the Astros. He's like, he just brings them some kind of special mojo. And, yep, because here's another one. <laughs> there is Yuri Guriel to 99 for the Astros again. So, case number one was the Cardinals. Case number two, all about the Astros. So let's review our hits. We'll start with this one since it's in my hand. It is uh, Guriel to 99 for the Astros. Alex Bregman for the Astros. We're going to be saying for the Astros a lot tonight. Case hit Wade Boggs for the Red Sox to 135. For the Astros, Hernandez to 50. For the Phillies, Jake Thompson. For the Tigers, Michael Fulmer. For the Cardinals, Randall. It's either Grychuk or Grichuk. I never say it right. So, either way, take your pick. It's one of those two. <laughs> Here is Hernandez to 25 for the Astros. That will be their fourth hit. Here is Hernandez, just the regular Hernandez for the Astros, making their fifth hit. Second hit for the Phillies with the Roman Quinn. Have one for the Mets with Noah Syndergaard to 99. And there's Kyle Seeger for the Mariners to 50. Nice little hit. Jose De Leon for the Dodgers. The A's with Matt Olson. I think there's another Matt Olson hiding down in here somewhere we're going to find in a minute. Javier, Javier, I'll get it out in a minute. Javier Baez for the Cubbies. For the Royals, Hunter Dozier. For the Cardinals, their second hit. This one is numbered to 99 with the Luke Weaver. My favorite hit of the night 
is the uh, second case hit for tonight, which is the Buster Posey rookie reprint card numbered to 45 with the on-card auto. And uh, yeah, I'm a little bit in love with that card. I like that a lot. There's your second Matt Olson for the A's numbered to 99. And then the second hit for the Cubbies with the redemption for Anthony Rizzo. So there it is, guys. That's it for tonight. And uh, again, look for the Clearly Authentic to probably ship out in the range of uh, Friday. I might be able to get it a little sooner, but I still got a whole bunch of uh, chrome to sort. So that's what always slows me down. <laughs> but uh, it's probably in the range of Friday. So thank you, everybody. I appreciate it very much. I always appreciate you bidding with me, breaking with me, chatting with me, hanging out, and uh, overlooking my early start tonight where I had to just uh, walk off for 10 minutes. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. Take care, everybody. I will see you again soon. Have a great night. Bye-bye.